If I'm being honest, loving you the hardest thing to do, so I keep to myself. I feel like I'm falling in and out of consciousness. Yeah. Now we're starting to talk. Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome back to this vlog. I went to IKEA was sort of kicked out at the end of their day. They were literally like, it's past eight, here's the door, leave. So I only got part of the stuff that I needed. Basically this apartment used to be one big apartment and then he split it into two. Wise decision if you're trying to make money. Either way, this sofa, it's cool, it's sweet, but it's not for if you want to like sit down and work for many, many hours aka me so my neighbors who are drew's policemen are going to take this sofa and put it in their apartment i don't have the money right now to buy a replacement but i'm just going to have to trust and pray that the money will come in or that someone will give or donate or i'll buy it for really really cheap either way i don't have a replacement and you know what it's not the worst thing in the world it's okay Okay, I didn't do an IKEA haul yesterday, so we're gonna do it today. Let's begin. Start with the basics, kitchen towels. I got a whole bunch of Tupperware. I'm realizing that I'll probably need to buy plastic ones too, because I always cook and then try and send people home with food. I know these will not return to me. So I think I'm going to buy plastic ones as well, but these are really good. A pan with a glass cover. I bought three big pillows with this sort of green-ish cover. I'm trying to insert green, cream, and slight pinks into my house because I think that it's a good combination that it's soft. So I also have a cool DIY project for a canopy above my bed. So that will be very soon, but it's a good start. Bowls for cooking, random utensils, cutting board. These are dividers for inside your closet for your clothes your socks your underwear and stuff like that fake plants for my diy thing so that was my small little ikea haul. apart from that in an hour i'm going with my friend to try a sushi place now we got to know each other so much better in texas funnily enough even though she lived here before and we would go in texas on sushi dates and we just we love sushi so what we're gonna do is we are going to try and rate different sushi places so that you guys, when you come to Jerusalem, you can try them too if you want. So I'm gonna do that in an hour. In the meantime, I might put some of these things away. She says that the flowers are beautiful and they are. Look at it. Guys, I'm with LT. Where's LT? LT. Hi. And hi, Moni. <laughs> you guys know hi, Moni and that random guy. We are going to get sushi. sushi. We're so excited. I love sushi personally. I know people are like, some people love it and some people hate it. Right, hi, Moni? It's very good. Okay. But to make an experience. This is called the Umbrella Street. It has an official name. I think it's like Solomon something. I'll put it down below. But people usually know this street as the Umbrella Street. And here's why. Umbrellas galore. The Umbrella Street. So the 
there wasn't a lot of space where we wanted to sit. You can sit inside in two places and then outside, but it's rush hour, so we chose <laughs> to sit on the side of a random place. So that's what we're doing. This is fresh. You can taste that it's fresh. And I like, like all the variety of things that they make. It's crowded. Like just... With, um... So how would we rate the sushi place? Well, it's good. <laughs> Two thumbs up. I do one and a half. One and a half? <laughs> yeah. Out of ten? Uh, two. <laughs> Out of two. Because I only have two thumbs. Okay. <laughs> I liked it. I mean the the seating. I think if you if you come here, you shouldn't come during rush hour, which is I don't know one. Come before one because they're really it was sort of crammed and there wasn't really where to sit. But apart from that, it is a good they're sushi place. Really nice, really um, hospitable. Yeah, good fresh seafood. <laughs> Buttercup is exhausted, but he's doing okay. He was freaking out yesterday. Yesterday was much worse than today. I still have things to do in this house. Sivan, my friend, is going to come over and we're going to get things to help me organize all the cutlery because I could not find anything small enough for that drawer. I'm spending a lot of money <laughs> on things I didn't think I would need, but now I do. Let's get to it. Sivan is one of my best friends. We've known each other for more than 10 years. No, at least nine or 10 years, no? Mm -hmm. okay. And we're on our way to Max Stock, which I think is like Sivan's like favorite place in the whole world. Oh <laughs> if you ever want to go to somewhere and you need like cheap things that are like okay and durable, go to Max Stock or Zolstock on Yafo. Okay, I think I'm done for this day. Anyways, comment down below about what you think about this apartment. Interact with me. If you are new here, then click the subscribe button and welcome. If you are not new here, then welcome back. And I'll see you guys in a vlog very soon. Love you, bye.